Welcome back. Hey, and congrats for making it this far. In the last video, we talked about hooking up all of our MIDI hardware to talk to Cubase. Now it's time to get down to some basic MIDI recording. So here's our blank project, and we need to add some MIDI tracks to record to or something to record onto. So in this area here, we can right-click and add all these tracks like we talked about before, or we can go up to the little plus button and do the same thing. We'll talk more about the kinds of tracks we can add in future videos, but for the time being, we're just going to go here and add instrument track. This pulls up our VST instrument dialog window. And right now, just like adding audio tracks, we're going to have one. And our instrument, if we click the down arrow, we're going to add Halion Sonic SE for the time being. It's going to go out our stereo outputs as we have routed here. We hit the add track button and we're presented with this guy. So this is basically based on the Yamaha Motif series of instruments and very powerful and incredibly deep and diverse set of instruments by Yamaha. This is basically a Yamaha Motif in software. So hugely powerful, tons of stuff to choose from here. We're going to get way more into this later. Currently right now, on this side of the window, what we're looking at here is all the different MIDI slots. We have 16 MIDI slots to load instruments into. So we could, for example, load instruments into every single one of these slots and change all the MIDI channels to MIDI channel one and have a massive instrument play. But for the time being, all we need is just a simple demonstration. So we're going to leave it uh, the way it's set up here. And we're going to go down and click the down arrow button. And we're going to come over here. And this is our media bay. From here, we have all these instruments to choose from. So we got drums, percussion, keyboards, musical effects, organ, piano even sound effects. There's so many things to choose from. You could literally spend days just going through this massive library. But we're going to keep it simple and pick something like a keyboard. Let's choose a Wurlitzer. If we double click on that, that selection is automatically loaded into the first slot. So that's how you load instruments. And then from here at the bottom of the keyboard, we can click on this to audition the sounds. And that is going to get us started for now. We're going to click out of here. This little keyboard button right here this is the instrument editor window. So by clicking on that, whatever soft synth you have loaded up, be it a drum synth or this, Halley and Sonic, this opens and closes that dialog window and allows you to manipulate the soft synth. A couple of things we got to do before we begin recording MIDI. One, let's go down here to the lower right hand side and double click on the tempo indicator and double click that so that we get the tempo we need for the project. You simply type in anything that you need. Right next to that guy is the metronome. We need to turn that on so we can keep time. The little square right next to it activates a count in, and that can be changed to anything that you want. Right now it's set for four counts. Come back up here to the track, and we need to turn on the monitor to the track. That's the little yellow button right here, the speaker button, and that effectively passes audio through the track and the inserts, effectively turning on the output of our soft synth so we can hear the sound module in software. Last thing to do is to record enable the track, and if you're using a sound workstation synthesizer as a controller, you may need to turn the volume of it down so you don't hear both the workstation's audio output as well as the soft synth output in Cubase. All right, now we just hit record and we're ready to record our MIDI track. All right, we hit stop, and that is our first MIDI track right there. We're going to go ahead and disarm the track. And at first glance, if we look at the track clip we just recorded, it has a lot of similarities to the audio clip we recorded a couple of videos ago. We have those same white rectangles on the lower left and right hand sides. This allows us to clean up the track and to clean up any starts and stops or include or exclude as much information as we need from it. Now, we don't have the top and uh, left and right triangles because this is MIDI information, so we don't have the ability to create a fade. And because there's no audio in it, there's no clip gain button either. However, the same button in the middle on the right-hand side is still there. So if we click and drag that to the right, we can copy parts immediately. This is very handy for drum information and loop information for sure. And then as well, when we double-click on the clip itself with our mouse, 
It opens up the piano roll editor, and we will get much more into this in the future, but this is where all your editing for MIDI takes place. All right, in the next video, we are moving on to zones and where the heck everything is. So we will see you guys there.